Hey everyone, I am Polly and this is my video tutorial for this afghan block which I call Resilience, which is block number three of the Moogly Crochet Along 2021. Um, for this pattern, I am using Erin White yarn. Um, I'm using Red Heart with Love in various colors, a six millimeter crochet hook, and you'll also want some scissors for changing colors and fastening off, and a yarn needle to weave in your ends. And it's always handy to have a ruler to measure your square and make sure you're right on track. So let's get started. So for round one, I'm going to show you two different ways you can start, because I like to use a magic circle to start my square, but not everybody does. So if you hate magic circles, that's fine. Start with a slip knot on your hook, and we're just going to do a traditional chain loop. So you'll chain four and slip stitch that very first chain to join and make a loop. Let's get that tail out of my way. Okay, I like to slip stitch into the loop just to get my yarn sort of evenly placed. Okay, and then chain three, and that counts as your first double crochet. Okay, now all of the rest of the round one stitches will be made into the loop. Um, I'm Again, I'm going to make mine into a magic circle, so I'm gonna stop here. But before we go on, I am gonna show you to get that magic circle look. Um, when you're weaving in your ends, just take this first end and your yarn needle and weave it once around this circle at the base of your stitches and then pull it tight and you'll get the look of a magic circle without having to do a magic circle. Okay, let's take this apart because um, now I'm going to show you how to do a double magic circle, which is a little more secure than a regular magic circle. It's what I use all the time. So you take our yarn and I wrap it around my fingers twice and then pinch at the top just to hold it in place and take it off my fingers. Switch hands. Okay, and then I'm going to take my hook and insert it into the loops and pull up a loop. It's going to be kind of loose for a second while I pin with my other hand again and then pull it tight. Get my yarn ready in my hand. And now I'm going to chain one and that will hold everything in place. I like to even tighten that chain a bit just to keep everything really secure. Now chain two more, and those first three chains count as your first double crochet. Okay, now let's continue with our round one stitches. We're going to do two more double crochets into our magic circle, or our chain loop if that's what you're using. And then chain two. Now we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three times. So one, two and three double crochets, chain two. And then again, one, two, three double crochets, chain two. We'll do that one more time. One, two, three double crochets, chain two. So now you should have four sets of three double crochets, one, two, three, four, with chain two in between. And I'm going to show you now how to close a double magic circle because it's a little bit different than a regular magic circle. I'm just gonna set my hook aside for a moment while I do this. First, we're going to find our yarn end and sort of untwist it from the loops so that it's coming out nice and straight from the base of your stitches. And I want you to take that yarn end and just pull on it a little bit, just a little tiny bit, just maybe half an inch or so. All we really wanna do is figure out which of these two loops starts to close when we pull on our yarn end. And I'm even going to untangle this a little bit more. 
So you can see this loop is the one that started to close when I pulled on it, and this one stayed big. So now I'm going to leave my yarn end alone. I'm going to go to this loop that started to get tight, and from the top, I'm going to pull on it to close the other loop first. Okay, nice and tight, and then we can go back to our yarn end and pull on that to close the second loop. Okay, and now we can finish our round one stitches just by slip stitching to the top of that beginning chain three to join, and if you are changing colors, fasten off. And that is round one. For round two, I am using a new color of yarn, but if you are using the same yarn as you did for round one, you don't need to fasten off. All you need to do is slip stitch into the next double crochet, and that will actually put you at the same double crochet that we're starting at, which will be the center double crochet of this three double crochet group. Just slip stitch to that double crochet, and what I want you to do is chain four, that was two, three, four, and then double crochet in that stitch again. And that's going to count as your first V stitch. So the first three stitches are a double crochet, then a chain one space, and then another double crochet to count as your first V, okay? Um, if you are starting with new yarn, like I am, I'm going to use a standing stitch to begin. I just like the way they look a little better than the slip stitch and chains. And you don't have to start in the double crochet after the join. I actually like to keep my joins sort of um, staggered around my square so that when I weave my ends in, it's a little bit more balanced. It doesn't get bulky anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to start with a standing double crochet. So I put my slip knot on my hook, I wrap the yarn around once, and I hold it in place. Then I insert my hook and pull up a loop, keeping that all in place, and then just complete like a regular double crochet, pulling through two loops on the hook twice. Then chain one and double crochet again in that same stitch to make your first V stitch. Okay, so if you started with the same yarn or new yarn, we are both at the same spot now. Now chain two and make another V stitch in that same double crochet. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So you'll have two V stitches separated by a chain two space in that center double crochet. Okay, now chain one and single crochet in the next chain one, or I'm sorry, the next chain two space. Make sure and take a moment to untangle your yarn when you need to. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Chain one. And now we're going to do the same thing in this middle double crochet. We're going to make a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, and another V stitch. Then chain one and single crochet in the next chain two space chain one and just repeat that pattern v stitch chain two and another v stitch all in that center double crochet chain one single crochet in the chain two space chain one v stitch chain two V stitch, chain one, single crochet in the last, chain two space, chain one, and now we slip stitch to the very first double crochet that we made from our first V. That will be the third chain of your starting chain if uh, that's how you begin your round. So slip stitch. And again, fasten off if you're changing colors. Don't fasten off if you're not changing colors. And that is round two. Okay, for round three, 
If you're starting with the same yarn that you used for round two, all you need to do is slip stitch into the next chain one space. And that's gonna put you right here at um, the chain one space of the first V that you made. And you're gonna start exactly like you did for round two um, with a chain four and a double crochet in that chain one space. And we're gonna start, um, those of us using a new yarn are gonna start in that chain one space of that V by making a standing double crochet, a chain one and another double crochet. So it's just like the round two start, um, but it's gonna be in that chain one space of that first V um, that we made. Then we're going to chain two and into the next chain two space, we're going to make double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet. Oops. Then chain one, and into the chain one space of the next V, we're going to make another V stitch. Then chain one, and into that single crochet right in the middle there, we're going to make a single crochet and chain one. And we're just going to repeat that pattern around. So into the chain one space of the next V, make another V. Chain one into the next chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Then chain one, make another V stitch into the chain one space of the next V stitch. Okay, and into the next single crochet, skip everything up until the next single crochet. Oh, we need to chain one first and single crochet in that single crochet. Don't forget there's chain one spaces between all of these stitches. Chain one again, V stitch in the next V stitch. chain one, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next chain two space, chain one, V in the next V, chain one, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain one, almost there, V in the next V, chain and then chain one, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that chain two space, chain one, V in that last V, chain one, all right, last single crochet into the single crochet, chain one, and slip stitch that first double crochet to join, or to the third chain of your starting chain, if that's how you started and fast it off if you are done with that color. And take a look, that is round three. Round four begins in the first double crochet of the first V stitch after any single crochet. So if you are using the same yarn that you used for round three, all you need to do is chain one and single crochet in the same stitch that you joined. If you're using a new yarn, like I am, what you'll do is find any single crochet around your square and go to the V-stitch right after it and the very first double crochet of that V-stitch is where we're going to begin. So, in that double crochet, I'm going to make a standing single crochet. Then into the chain one space of that V, I'm going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet again. Then I'm going to single crochet in the next double crochet of that same V. I'm going to single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next double crochet, and then into this chain two space we're going to make single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Then single crochet in the next double crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, 
Now we're at the V stitch on the other side. We're going to single crochet in the first double crochet of that V. Then into the chain one space of that V, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Then into the next double crochet of that V, make a single crochet. Okay, now we're going to skip the chain one, this, the single crochet, and the next chain one. And we're actually going to work around the single crochet from round two by making a front post double crochet. Then we're going to go to that V stitch that comes after the single crochet and we're going to repeat our pattern. So single crochet in the first double crochet of that V stitch, then in the chain one space, single crochet, chain one, and single crochet again. Then in the next double crochet, single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next double crochet, then into that chain two space, make a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet again. Back down the other side, single crochet in the double crochet, single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in the double crochet of that V-stitch, and then single chain one, single in the chain one space of the V-stitch, single crochet in the next double crochet of that V, and here's the chain one, single crochet, chain one that we skip, and instead we work a front post double crochet around the round two single crochet. Try to keep it nice and tight to get that shape. And that's the pattern. Just go ahead and repeat that all the way around and slip stitch to the first single crochet to join. And after this round, you're actually going to want to fasten off whether or not you are using the same color or a different color because we're going to do some post stitches in the next round. So here is round four all completed and you might notice it gets a little wobbly after round four, but that's okay. Don't worry. We're going to straighten it out. Feel free to just go ahead and give it a tug into place. I like to do this as I'm making a square anyway. It just kind of helps me see how things are looking and it does a little bit of pre-blocking for me. Go ahead and feel free to do that whenever you want when you're making a square. I find it really helpful. Okay, we're going to start on round five and we're, we should all be starting with new yarn for this round, whether you're using the same color or not. We are going to start this round with two tricks. Sorry to make it complicated right away, but this, this round is a little bit tricky, but um, just let's go slow and I want to show you two things to begin. We're going to start by making a treble crochet into any one of these front post double crochets. Feel free to pick any one to start. And yes, we are going to make a standing treble crochet. It is absolutely possible, but you do not have to do it if you don't want to bother with it. Just slip stitch and chain four to count as your first treble crochet, okay? Um, the other trick that I want to show you is something I call splitting stitches, and it's just something I do that helps me keep stitches really centered. And I use this whenever I have multiple stitches, or maybe even just one stitch. Whenever I have a stitch that I want to look really centered, and I want these st stitches to really be centered in this front post double crochet. So what I do is I don't go under just the top two loops. What I do is I try to go under the third loop. If you've ever used the third loop before, you know what I'm talking about. If not, turn your work over and find the back loop of that front post double crochet. Maybe just stick your hook under the top two loops and then flip your work over. And you might need to move round three down a little bit. So here's the back loop of that front post double crochet. It's this one right here. Right below it is another loop. You'll see this horizontal bar. That's the one we want to go under. 
in addition to the top two loops. Again, this is totally optional. You don't have to do it, but I do like to share this trick because it makes things look really nice. Okay, so to do that, let's find that loop is kind of pulled down here. It's usually easier to find in other stitches, but this front post double crochet is a little stretched out. So I'm gonna go under that loop. Just make sure from behind that it looks correct. Yep. And that's how I'm gonna place this stitch, okay? So under the front and back loops and the third loop. Okay, so now let's do our standing treble crochet. Again, totally optional, you don't have to do this. Yarn over twice and hold them in place. Find the placement for your hook. Pull up a loop and just keep your thumb on those loops to keep them in place. And yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook three times. And that's a standing treble crochet. See, it's totally possible. Okay, after we do our first treble, we're going to chain three and treble again in the same stitch. Okay. So see how nice and centered those are on that stitch? And it kind of helps keep spread uh, the yarn out a little bit better so you don't get any gaping holes. Okay, now let's chain one. And we're going to skip the next two single crochets and the next chain one space. And those chain one spaces can be kind of hard to see, so I like to just count the sets of top, the top two loops. So I know the first set here is the first single crochet, the second set is the second single crochet, the third set is the chain one space, and you can see there's kind of no stitch that correlates with that third set. So I know it's definitely the chain one space. Okay, so those are skipped into the next single crochet. I'm going to make a shallow back post single crochet. It sounds much more complicated than it is, I promise. Okay, so to do that, instead of going under the top two loops from the front, I'm going to go under the top two loops from the back, and then I'm going to go under the top two loops of the next stitch from the front. And then I'm going to pull up a loop and complete my single crochet. That's how you make a shallow back post single crochet. We're going to do that again on the next four stitches. So under the top two loops from behind on the next stitch, those are the same top two loops that we went in from the front for the first shallow back post single crochet. So you'll just be kind of weaving in and out here, okay? And then from the front under the next two, pull up a loop, single crochet, then go under the next two from behind, under the next two from front, that was three, from behind from the front, that's four, and then the fifth one happens right after, or right before, a chain two space. Don't worry too much about going under just the top two loops, I just go right into the chain two space. Okay, so that was five shallow back post single crochets. Now chain two, and we're just gonna skip that chain two space, nothing goes in there. And we're going to make five shallow back post single crochets along the next five single crochets. So under the top two loops of the next single crochet, from behind, and then from the front through the next two. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one, again, is going to have that chain one space. So don't worry too much about getting the right loops. Just get it close enough. You won't really be able to see. Okay, now chain one. We're going to skip the chain one space, skip the next two single crochets, and we're going to make a treble into this front post double crochet, just like we did at the beginning. And again, I'm going to go under the top two loops plus the third loop. Totally optional, just something I like to do to make things look really nice. And then make my treble crochet. Chain three, treble again in the same spot. And then we're just gonna keep going with our pattern. Chain one, skip
skip the next two single crochets, skip the chain one space, shallow back post single crochet around the next five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Now chain two, skip the chain two space, and five more shallow back post single crochets around the next five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And that brings us back to the beginning of our pattern. We chain one and do our treble, chain three treble in this front post double crochet, and then just continue around with the pattern like we've done, and um, slip stitch to that first treble when you get there, and um, fasten off if you're changing colors, and then we'll do round six. All right, now for round six. This round and the next few rounds are much easier, so you can relax a little. I know round five is a little bit tricky, um, but this one's gonna be a lot easier. So what we're going to do is, if you are starting with the same yarn from round five, you will be joined to one of the trebles right here, like so. All you need to do is slip stitch into the chain three space and chain three to count as your first double crochet. If you are starting with new yarn, like I am, make a standing double crochet in any of these chain three spaces between trebles. So standing double crochet. And now let's make four more double crochets into that chain three space. Chain two. And we're going to make five more double crochets into the chain three space. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to chain two and we're going to skip the treble. We're going to skip the chain one space after the treble and we're going to skip the next one, two, three shallow back post single crochets. And into the next shallow back post single crochet, we're going to make a single crochet. Now chain three, one, two, three. Now skip the next shallow back post single crochet, skip the next chain two space, skip the next shallow back post single crochet, and into the next shallow back post single crochet, we'll make another single crochet. Chain two, skip the next three shallow back post single crochets, skip the chain one, skip the next treble, and into this next chain three space, we're going to make five double crochets, chain two, and five more double crochets. So we're just starting our pattern over again from where we started. Okay, and when you make these, feel free to scooch them in that chain three space as much as you need to to make them fit and to make them um, spread out evenly. Now chain two, we're going to skip the treble, the chain one, and one, two, three of those shallow back post single crochets. Make a regular single crochet into the next one, chain three. Skip the next shallow back post single, skip the next chain two, skip the next shallow back post single, and then single crochet in the next one. Chain two, skip one, two, three shallow back post single crochets, skip the chain one, skip the next treble, 
and we're right back where we started. So go ahead and just repeat that around and slip stitch to the first double crochet to join and fasten off if you are changing colors. All right, time for round seven. So if you use the same yarn, you'll find you are starting in the very first double crochet of any of these double crochet groups. So if you're using new yarn, go ahead and pick any of them that you want to start with. And we're gonna start in the very first double crochet of the set by making a standing double crochet. If you're using the same yarn, go ahead and just chain three to count as your first double crochet. So standing double crochet in that first double crochet. In the next double crochet, we're going to make two double crochets. In the next double crochet, we make one double crochet. In the next one, we make two double crochets. Notice a pattern here. In the next one, we make one double crochet. So it goes one, two, one, two, one. Then into the chain two space, two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And we'll go do the same pattern down the next five double crochets. So one double crochet in the next, two in the next, one in the next, two in the next, and then one in the last one. So that here's what that point looks like. We did one, two, one, two, one, and then in the chain two space was two, chain two, two. Then again, one, two, one, two, one. Okay? All right, now chain one, and what I want you to do is we're gonna work into the chain three space from um, round six, and we're also going to work into the chain two, that was the chain three space of round six. We're also gonna work into the chain two space of round five. We're gonna work into them together by making a single crochet. Chain one and single crochet in both of those chain two spaces together again. Chain one, and now we're going to do the point of double crochets over here. So we're gonna skip the single crochet, skip the chain two space, and into the next double crochet, make one double crochet. Now we're just gonna repeat our pattern. Into the next one we do two, two double crochets. Into the next we do one double crochet. Into the next we do two double crochets. Into the next we do one double crochet. And now we're at our corner. We do two double crochets. chain two, and two more double crochets. Okay, into the next stitch, one double crochet, and then into the next two double crochets, into the next one double crochet, into the next two double crochets, and then into the last one, one double crochet. Okay, then we skip the chain two space, we skip this single crochet. And into both the chain three space from round six and the chain two space from round five, together we make a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet again. Then chain one, skip that next single crochet, skip the chain two space, and just repeat our pattern around, okay? And when you get to the first double crochet, slip stitch to join, fasten off if you're changing colors, and I'll meet you there and we will do round eight. All right, for round eight, 
we're going to start in the very first double crochet of any of these points. So it'll be the double crochet that comes right after your single chain one, single chain one section. If you're using the same yarn, this is right where you'll be. You'll be at this very first double crochet, just chain three to count as your first double crochet. If you're using new yarn, like I am, we're going to make a standing double crochet in that first double crochet. Okay, now double crochet again in that same stitch. Now double crochet in the next stitch twice. So one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. Then two double crochets in the next stitch. Now one double crochet in the next stitch twice. So one and one. Now two double crochets in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. So there's a pattern there too. We got two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. Into the chain two space, we're going to make two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And we'll repeat that same pattern going the opposite direction. So one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch. one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch. All right, so let's just review that pattern real fast. That went, we started at the very first double crochet, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. And we're at the chain two space, we made two, chain two, two, then we did one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. That should take you to the very last stitch, okay? Now, you can skip the next single crochet, or the next chain one space actually, and the next single crochet, and single crochet into that next chain one space, the one that comes right between those two single crochets. Then skip the single crochet and the next chain one space, and make two double crochets into the next double crochet and we'll continue that same pattern again. Two and then one, one. Two and then one and one. Two and then one and one, and we're at our corner. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And let's do that backwards. So one, one, and two. And then one and one and two. Then oh, oops, one, one and two. That should be right at your last double crochet for that point. Skip the chain one, skip the next SC, and single crochet in the chain one space right in the middle. And then just repeat that pattern around. You've got two more sides to do. Repeat that around, and um, I will meet you at the beginning of round nine. Slip stitch to the first double crochet to join, and uh, fasten off if you're changing colors. And then we'll start round nine together.
Okay, for round nine, I should have told you to fasten off for round eight no matter what because we're going to do more post stitches. So with new yarn, I want you to pick any of these single crochets around your square and what we're going to do is skip, we're going to skip the single crochet and we're going to skip the next four double crochets after it. So one, two, three, four. And in the fifth double crochet is where we're going to start, okay? So single crochet, one, two, three, four, and five is where we start. I'm going to start by making a standing half double crochet, I'm sorry, a standing shallow back post half double crochet. Sounds a little complicated. We're going to do this back post stitch just like we did the ones in round five as a shallow back post stitch and a half double crochet. If you don't want to do a standing version, just go ahead and slip stitch the same way you would make that uh, shallow back post stitch. So insert your hook under that fifth double crochet from back to front and then under the next stitch from front to back and pull up a loop to make your slip stitch. Then chain two to count as your first half double crochet. I, however, am going to do a standing shallow back post half double crochet. So with my uh, slip knot on my hook, going to yarn over once, insert my hook into one, two, three, four, five, make sure I get the right stitch, insert my hook from back to front under the top two loops of that fifth stitch, and then from front to back under the next two stitches, I'm just going to hold my loops in place on my hook while I do, pull up my loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on my hook. Okay, now we're going to do nine more shallow back post half double crochets. <laughs> okay, so just like we did the other shallow back post stitches, under the top two loops from back to front and then from front to back, yarn over, pull up a loop and half double crochet. And this is actually going to take me to the very end of this row of double crochets right before the chain two space. Okay, and I always like to count just to make sure there's the one I started with, then one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. Now chain two, and we're going to do 10 shallow back post half double crochets down these next row of double crochets. So skip the chain two space and make 10 shallow back post half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now you should have four double crochets left, one, two, three, four, that are unworked and we're going to skip those. All right, now what we're going to do, this is the fun part, chain one, and into this single crochet in the middle, make a treble crochet. Chain one, and now into the same single crochet, make a front post treble, just a regular front post treble. Okay, chain one. And now again into the same single crochet, we're going to make another treble. So you might need to move this post stitch down a little to see where to put your hook and make a treble. Chain one, and we're back to where we started. We're gonna skip the next one, two, three, four double crochets and make 10 shallow back post half double crochets. So one, two, three, four.
that's 10, now chain two, skip the chain two space, and 10 more shallow back post half double crochets. Okay, if you've done 10, you should have one, two, three, four double crochets left that we're going to skip. We're going to chain one and make a treble into the next single crochet. Chain one. Now a front post treble around that same single crochet. Regular front post to treble. Then chain one and make another regular treble into that same single crochet just by moving this front post treble down a bit so we can see where to put our hook. And a regular treble right there. Chain one, skip the next four stitches and we are right back to where we started. So go ahead and repeat that pattern on the next two sides. Slip stitch to the first stitch to join and then we will do round 10 together. You can fasten off if you want or not if you don't want because you can very easily use the same yarn on the next round. Okay, now for round 10. In this round, uh, it's not a very complicated round, but I do want you to take it nice and slow and just pay really close attention to the stitches because we used these half double crochets in the last round and I, I really love half double crochets. I love the way they feel to make and I love the way they look. But when you're working in the round like this, they have this kind of funky shape, especially right after a chain space, that makes them lean a lot. Um, so we're gonna compensate for the shape of the half double crochets in this round and the next. So just take it nice and slow and um, Pay careful attention to our stitch placement and count, count everything very carefully, okay? So if you are starting with the same yarn from last time, just go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and chain two for your first half double crochet. If you're starting with new yarn like I am, pick any side that you wanna start on. And after this set of trebles right here, we're going to see there's a chain one space there's the first half double crochet. And you can see it really likes to pull out that way. We're gonna start in the half double crochet right after it by making a standing half double crochet, just a regular one. Okay, and then we are going to half double crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. There should be two half double crochets left before your corner. Now chain one, and in the corner chain two space, we're gonna skip those last two half double crochets. In the corner chain two space, we're going to make a V stitch, which was double crochet, chain one, double crochet, then chain two, and make another V stitch. Okay, now here's where we're gonna compensate for the shape of the half double crochets. Go ahead and chain one. And now if you look closely, what you'll notice is that your V stitches kind of already are working over that part of the half double crochet where your stitch should go, the top two loops of it. So it gets hidden. So we're actually just gonna ignore that first one, count it as skipped one, then we're going to skip two more. So this side we're going to skip a total of one, two, three. But that first one is really hidden, so just be really careful when you're counting those. And we're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to make a total of seven half double crochets. Two, three, four, five, 
six and seven should be right at the last half double crochet there, or the back post half double crochet. And then into the chain space, into this chain one, make another half double crochet. <clears throat> now chain one, and we're gonna skip the treble and into the next chain one space, we're gonna make a double crochet. Then chain one. Okay, now here's the only really tricky part on this round. We're gonna make a double crochet two together. So to do that, yarn over once, insert your hook into the chain one space that already has the double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, pause there. Yarn over, skip the front post treble, insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three remaining loops on your hook. And that's your double crochet two together. Then chain one and double crochet again in the chain one space that already has part of that double crochet two together. And then chain one and then stop, take a look. So we've created this kind of zigzag pattern with those stitches, okay? Now, <clears throat> um, half double crochet in the next chain one space. So skip that treble and then half double crochet in the next chain one space. And this is actually back where we started. We're going to skip the first half double crochet. You can see mine's a little funky right here. This is where I joined. So it has a slip stitch in it. Um, skip that first half double crochet. It's just going to kind of fall under the one you just made. And then into the next uh, back post half double crochet, make a regular half double crochet. And we're going to make a total of seven half double crochets. Okay, so that's the one in the chain space. And then one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay, we're just going to keep repeating our pattern. There's two half double crochets left, sorry, back post half double crochets left. We're going to chain one and skip those. And V chain two V in the corner chain two space. V chain two V. Okay, and then chain one. Okay. Now we're going to skip the next three half double crochets, but remember the first one is hidden under our V stitches. So there's one, two, three, and then we're going to make seven half double crochets. Okay, then we're at the chain one space. We'll half double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, skip the treble, double crochet in the next chain one space. That's a double crochet, not a half double, a regular double. Chain one, and here's where we make our double crochet two together. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space where you just made the double crochet and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, leave those two loops on your hook, yarn over, skip the front post treble into the next chain one space, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through three loops. And that's your double crochet two together. Now chain one and double crochet again in that same chain one space. Then chain one, skip the next treble, half double crochet in the next chain one space. And there we go, we're right back to where we started. We skip that next half double crochet, should kind of hide under the one we just made, and continue on with our seven half doubles, okay? So go ahead and repeat that all the way around. You can fasten off if you want or not if you don't want. And we will make round 11 together next. Okay, for round 11, if you are starting with the same yarn as round 10, go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and chain three to count as your first double crochet. 
If you are starting with new yarn, like me, pick any side, and we're going to start in this section of half double crochets. There's eight in this section. We're not going to start at the first or the second, but the third right here um, with a standing double crochet. Okay, now double crochet in each of the next five half double crochets. Okay, so you should have six double crochets now total. Into the next chain one space, make two double crochets. Then chain one, and we're going to skip this V stitch entirely and work into the corner chain two space and make a V stitch. That's double crochet, chain one, double crochet for a V stitch. Chain two and another V stitch. So V, chain two, V is our corner. Okay, and then after that chain one, turn my square a little bit for you, skip this V stitch entirely and into this chain one space, make two double crochets. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous round and we're going to compensate for the shape of these half double crochets by skipping the first half double crochet of this section right here. And then we're going to work six double crochets into the next half double. So skip that first half double and um, just let your two double crochets here kind of slide over it. Skip the first one and make a double crochet six times. So two, three, four, five, and six. You should have one left before the chain one space. We're going to skip this half double crochet, chain one, and into the next chain one space, make a double crochet. Chain one. And now what we're going to do is a sequence of double crochet two togethers. So just like we did in the last round, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space as this double crochet, and pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, so skip that double crochet, insert into the next chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through three loops. Okay, we're going to do that two more times the same way. Chain one, yarn over, insert your hook into this chain one space that already has the leg of that double crochet two together. Insert your hook there and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so that's two double crochets, two together chain one and we'll do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through three loops. Chain one and now all we have to do is double crochet in that same chain one space. And we have just expanded our little zigzag pattern for another row. Okay, now we are back to the beginning. This is where we started. We're going to chain one and we're going to skip the next two half double crochets. So on this side we skip one, two. So the first one might be a little hidden under your last two stitches. Skip the first one, skip the second one, and then make six double crochets. And we're just starting our pattern over again. One, two, three, four, five, and six takes us right to the last half double crochet. 
two double crochets in the next chain one space, chain one, skip this V stitch and into this chain two space we're going to make V chain two V. chain two and V. Turn my square a little bit. Now chain one, skip the V stitch into the next chain one space, make two double crochets. Okay, skip that first half double crochet that might be hidden a little under your double crochets. I mean, yeah, skip the first half double and then make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Go ahead and chain one, skip the next half double crochet, and into the chain one space, make a double crochet chain one and now we're going to do our sequence of three double crochet two togethers so yarn over insert your hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook into the next chain one space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three chain one let's do that again yarn over insert your hook into the same chain one space pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. Chain one, last one, ready? Yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. There we go, okay chain one and double crochet in the same chain one space. Whew, okay, that looks great though, doesn't it? Okay, chain one, skip the first two half double crochets. Again, one of them is going to be hidden and then start your six double crochets in the next six stitches. All right, that's your pattern. Go ahead and make that on the, around the next two corners and slip stitch to join and then we will make our final round, round 12, together. Before you start round 12, this is a really good time to measure your square and see if you're getting the right measurements. You're getting something close to 12 inches now. So I'll show you real fast how I measure my square. What I do is I take it and I flatten it out, kind of smooth it out side to side, turn it, smooth it out side to side this way, Make sure these points are nice and pointy. Just kind of get it into shape. Okay, make sure it looks kind of even on both sides. And then take your ruler. And I like to measure right in the middle. My middles are popping just a little tiny bit. So sometimes it's better to measure maybe like two thirds of the way, one third of the way, down or up. I'm getting right about 11 and a half inches here. Come down here, check again, 11 and a half inches. Okay, so that's pretty accurate. Then turn it 90 degrees, measure it the other way. Right about 11 and a half, right about 11 and a half. Okay, so I'm doing great with my six millimeter hook. I've got just enough room to fit in a round of single crochet to finish this off. If you're getting much less size than that, this is your opportunity to change your final round to maybe half double crochet. If you're getting a lot less size than that and you need more than an inch, um, then you can use double crochet. And the only thing I would change about that is how many stitches are in the corners. With um, single crochet, we're just gonna do a, a single crochet chain to single crochet in the corners. But if, you're, if you need more size and you're doing half double crochets or double crochets, I would do two chain two and then two more stitches. Okay, so I only need single crochet, that's great. I'm right on track. If you're using the same yarn, the same color from last round, all you need to do is chain one and single crochet in the same stitch as you joined, okay? 
if you're using new yarn. Uh, you really can start anywhere you like if you want to start right in the middle of your uh, side so that you've got good places to weave your ends. You can do that. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with a standing single crochet right here in this middle stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet in the chain space in the next stitch. Just every stitch and chain one space gets a single crochet all the way across to the corner. Nothing fancy here. We're just putting on a plain round of single crochet. And then I will show you the corner in just a moment. Okay, chain one gets a single, double crochet gets a single, everything gets a single crochet right up to the corner. Okay, in our corner chain two space, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. That's all, then go ahead and do the same down the next side and all the way around. Slip stitch to fasten and fasten off to finish up and um, make sure all your ends are woven, block your square and you're ready to go. That's it, thank you so much for working with me and making this square with me. Really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love the square that you made.